Good morning, scholars. Today is April 28th, 2020. Happy Tuesday. I'm glad to be here with you again today. Scholars, this week we've been focusing on um, some ending sounds, the NK and NG ending sounds. So let's take a look at that. The first word is sang. S-A-N-G. Sang. Remember, we can actually put them all together and it makes the ending ang, ang, sang. So whenever we say the ng, that ng, ang. All right, guys, let's look at another word. Bring, b, r, i, ng, ing, bring. So remember when we're using that ng, let's take a look at the vowel with the ng ending. Ang, ing. Those are ways that we're gonna say them and when we see them. Let's take a look at our other ending today. We're gonna to be doing the NK. Let's chop this up. Sk, um, k, skunk. When we have the NK with a U, it's gonna say unk, sk, unk. Let's take a look at another one. Shrink, shri, Ink, ink. I with an NK ending says ink. Unk, ink. Now, what about with an A? Ank, think, ink. So, ink. So, when we have those endings, we really put them together with our vowel. Ink, ink, unk. So making sure when we're thinking about our ending sounds, they always get combined with our vowel sound. Let's practice our sight words today. Off, ready, go. Off, O-F-F, -F, off, O-F-F, -F, off. Spell, spell, S-P-E-L-L, -L. spell, S-P-E-L-L, -L. spell. Air, A-I-R, air, A-I-R, air. Play. P-L-A-Y play, P-L-A-Y play. Change, C-H-A-N-G-E change, C-H-A-N-G-E change. Remember we're gonna be practicing sight words each day too. Those are important for us to be um, strong readers and spellers. This week, scholars, we are focusing on adjectives. Adjectives, remember, describe nouns. Nouns are people, places, and things, but adjectives aren't those. They describe them. They tell us more about our nouns. And so today, what I want to focus, is, focus on is doing some building. So today, you're going to be finding something you have at home, and you're going to be doing some building with it. So I found a game that I have at home. And maybe you are familiar with this game. It's kind of like Jenga and it makes building blocks. So I didn't make another building. I just left it as a tower. So I wanna describe this tower here. Now it is a tower, but that's not the way we're describing it. We wanna think of words we can use to describe the tower. The tower is the thing, it's the noun or these blocks are the noun, but I'm not gonna say blocks because that doesn't describe it, that is what it is. Okay, so I thought of a couple of words and you think of some too as I'm showing you this. Let's just take a look at this term. Let me give you a better look at it. Here it is. You can see it's nice and tall. It's a tall tower. So that's one word that I'm gonna to use to describe it, tall. Hmm. What else do you think about these blocks or this tower? It's a strong tower. Do you see how I can put it in front of tower to describe it? What else, let's see. Well, these blocks are hard. So it's a hard tower too. So I already have three words that I chose. Tall, strong, and hard. Now, 
When you're thinking of adjectives today, you want to make sure you're focusing not on the object. So I'm not going to say block. I'm not going to say rectangle. That's what it is. I can say I want to describe it. So now I can use words to describe the block. Like this is a tall block or tower. It's a strong tower. It's a hard tower. Those are words that describe it. I could also use color words. So what color do you see here? It's the color of wood, but what is up? What, what would I describe it as? I could say brown or tan. Those are color words. I could also use size words. Is it big? Is it small? And I can get more details into that. Not just big or small, but is it tiny? Or is it humongous? I want to think of words that help my reader get a picture in their head of what I'm describing, even if they aren't able to see it. All right, scholars, that is our language arts for the day. In our reading today, Miss Rebecca is going to be sharing a story about Ramadan because we are in the Ramadan season. And um, she's going to share a story with us, with us a little bit later. All right, have a great day.